Engineer man here, time to make a GTK app in C. No time to waste, let's do this. We're gonna create a minimally useful GTK3 application in C today. And by minimally useful, I mean we're gonna create an application that adds two numbers. Despite how simple that sounds, you'll find that it's actually quite involved. So difficulty is intermediate. First, what is GTK? GTK is a toolkit of widgets that you can use to make cross-platform GUI applications and let's analyze a GTK application. So here's our code. First thing we're gonna do is get it compiled and open it up. So we're using this compilation. We're using package config to get C flags in the, in the libs. So run that real quick, and then we will open the application. I'm using a scale three, that way it's large on my really high resolution monitor. So we have our application down here. We're just gonna go line by line and understand exactly what all of this does. So when I ran the application, it came into int main just like it would any other C application. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use GTK widget type and declare several different variables. We're gonna declare a window, grid, and calculate inside main, but up here you'll notice we're also declaring number one, number two, and result. The reason we're doing that is because when we hit the calculate button, we're going to need to be able to get the values of number one, number two, and then add them together and then put them in the result label. So these have to be accessed globally. Next line, we're going to run GTK init, give it the reference to argc and a reference to our arguments, variables. Next, we're going to create the window. GTK window new. We're going to create a signal and we're gonna pass it the window. The signal we're gonna use is destroy. And what that is, is once we hit this X button on the application to close it down, it's going to call the GTK main quit. And this is a built-in function that will just exit the program. You could use a user-defined function, I chose not to. Next, we're creating the grid. So we do grid equals GTK grid new. That creates a new instance of the grid. And then we're gonna use GTK container add to add it to the window. We're gonna use this macro called GTK container and put window inside it. And then we're saying, put the grid inside the window. Great. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create our first number, GTK entry, it's called an entry. GTK entry new, that'll create a new instance of an entry. And we're gonna use GTK grid attach, pass it the grid and pass it the number one. Now these four numbers, the first number is going to be the column. The second number is going to be the row. And then if you notice down here, I have four widgets. So this is going to be row zero. They're all row zero. This first box is column zero. Next is column one, column two, and column three. So you notice as we go down here, zero, one, two, three for each one. So we use grid attach, which will basically put the first text box into column zero. Number two is exactly the same. It's completely identical, except one difference. This is a one rather than a zero, so it puts it in column index one. Next, we gotta create the calculate button. So we take calculate, we call GTK button new with label, and inside here we can provide a character array for what the text of the button should be. In this case, I just chose calculate. Similar to above, we're gonna register another signal, except we're going to do the clicked signal we're going to apply it to calculate and we're going to do a callback and we're going to specify this time a user defined function. Do calculate is defined up here and we'll review what that does in a moment. Finally, we have a result label, GTK label new, and we specify the text that's in the label and then we do GTK grid attach just like we did with the two text boxes and the button. Finally, we call GTK widget show all, pass it the window, that'll show everything on the screen. And then we call GTK main, which starts the, the sort of event loop. So finally, we have our application here. So we'll put 12 here, we'll put 54 here. As soon as we hit that calculate button, what happens is it's going to call this do calculate action. And this is the signature you need. It's gonna give you the widget of the calculate button and it's gonna give you a G pointer of data, which we're not actually gonna use in this case. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to create two integers, num1 and num2. We're gonna convert a string to an integer. So GTK entry get text returns their version of an object. What we can then do is cast that to a character pointer. We can then take that full value and convert it to an integer. So num1 ultimately will be an integer from this box 
and num2 will be the integer from this box. We create a fixed length character buffer, 32 bytes long. We're going to use smprintf to write the sum of num1 and num2 along with result colon into the buffer. And then finally we're going to call gtk label set text, gtk label result, and then provide the buffer. And that will put the value of buffer into that box. So down here we have 12 and 54. When we click calculate, it says 66, just as we would have expected it to do. And that's it. Hopefully everyone is smarter having watched this video. If I forgot to cover something or you'd like to request a video, post a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like and subscribe button so you don't miss new videos. See you next time.